Hi, and welcome to our Qubit how-to video series. In today's video, we're going to show you how you can customize Qubit's report. Let's get started. The first thing I'd like to show you is how you can easily add a logo to your Qubit reports. So to do this, you're going to want to jump into the Qubit options. Click on the job menu and select the options button. Select the reports tab and the first thing you're going to see is this logo section. In this case, it is currently blank. If I click select, however, I can browse to a location where I have a logo stored. In this case, I'm just using a copy of the Qubit logo. So let's open that. As you can see, it shows you a preview in this actual option screen itself. Click OK to save that information. So when we then go to any report, It will actually bring up a copy of the report in question with the logo on the report. This will occur for any report you select. So the next thing we want to look at is actually customizing the reports in a bit more depth. So to do that, let's go to All Reports, which is located in the Data tab. Here we can see a list of all of the reports that are currently in the Qubit software. For this particular demonstration, I'm going to use the trade report, as it's the most commonly re used report, as well as the most commonly customized report. So with that selected, if I go Customize, it's going to bring us into the report editor. Now it is important to remember that this editor is only available in the Pro version of Qubit. The standard version does not currently have access to this. One of the most common customizations we get asked for is adding a code column to the report. So let's go and do that. If I right click on one of the existing columns, in this case the description, I'll get this pop-up menu. So if I select insert, I can add a new column to the left or right of the column I've actually selected. Because I've selected description, let's insert it to the right. As you can see, this new column doesn't have a proper heading at this stage of the game. That's fine. What we want to do is just select this particular cell, hit the little blue arrow, and we'll get this menu here. Now what we need to do is click on the data binding. That will give us a list of different options from the different levels of the job. So we'll go to Trade Nodes, and we're looking for the code column in question. So in our case, it'll be R2 code. Here it is, R2 codes. And I want to do the same thing with the cell just underneath that. So again, Data Binding, Trade Nodes, and R2 codes. Now that we have the appropriate code columns selected, we're going to want to add in a new cell for the header, just to make sure that it lines up correctly with the codes. So if we do the same again, insert a column to the right, that pretty much lines up. But of course, this cell is probably going to be a bit too wide, so let's go and modify that as well, just to make it look a little bit nicer. Same with the ones that we've just added underneath. Give it a nice heading. In this case, I shall just call it codes. And that should look reasonably good when we actually do the preview, which we can do from the top right hand corner. So as you can see, we've added in the code column and the logo is still showing up on this report as well. Now, the reverse of this is also true. If you have a column in the report that you want to remove, whether it be a code column, a quantity column, whatever it happens to be, you can select those particular cells, hit the delete key on the keyboard, and that will remove that information. So again, if I go back to the preview, the report is essentially as it was previously. 
you may need to play about with the format a little bit just to make it look as nice as possible but that's the very basics of that side of things just before closing off this video however I would like to show you some information from the left hand side of the report itself you can see that there's some parameters here and that's going to allow you to change what is showing on the report so for example you can update the name of the report so let's say just for the sake of argument to a name just to change it on here and as you can see that updates when I hit the apply button you can also do other things like stripping out the rates from the report you can hide items if you so wished there's a whole heap of information here possibly the most important ones would be stripping out the rates because we do get a lot of questions in regards to that and also showing the different levels of the report so if it's set to zero it's just going to show you all of the information if I change this to level one and apply it's only showing me the trade headings if I go to level two it is then showing me the second level down which is the trade headings and its subheadings and so on down the line level three in this case then being the actual items themselves this can be good in some cases it just depends on your specific needs that is about it for the basics of the customizing of the reports however if you do attempt to customize your own reports and run into any trouble have any questions please do feel free to contact the support team. We're here to help you, and we will do everything we can to get you up and going. Thank you very much for your time.